If your softened water tastes salty, that's not normal. A properly working softener only adds a tiny amount of sodium during the softening process. For example, even if your water is pretty hard, say around 18 grains per gallon, a softener would only add about 35 milligrams of sodium to an 8-ounce glass. For comparison, that's way less than what's in a single slice of bread. So if you're noticing a salty aftertaste, something's off with your system, and it needs a closer look. The quickest fix is to manually start a regeneration cycle and let it run completely. This helps flush out any leftover brine from the resin tank. Just make sure no one uses water while regeneration is happening. That's a common mistake that can pull salty water into your pipes. If your area has frequent power cuts, try using a backup power source during regeneration. A power outage in the middle of the cycle can leave you with salty water too. Also, check your water pressure. If it drops below 30 PSI, your softener won't function properly. Ideally, it should stay between 45 and 70 PSI for smooth operation. If that doesn't help, you need to investigate deeper. Here are three main reasons why your softened water tastes salty. Reason number one, a partial blockage in your drain line. If the drain line is clogged or partially blocked, the brine solution can't flush out completely during regeneration. This leaves excess salt in the resin tank, which can mix with your softened water and cause that salty taste, especially right after the softener regenerates. Here's how to fix it. Use your hand to follow the entire length of the drain line, checking for kinks, crimps, or sharp bends. Also, inspect the line for any sediment buildup that might be slowing the flow. Make sure the drain line isn't too long. Excess length can reduce drainage efficiency. If you find any blockage, clean it out, straighten out the line, and replace or shorten it as needed. To check if things are working properly, run a manual regeneration cycle and watch the drain line to see if water flows freely. Pro tip, check for a salt bridge inside your brine tank, a hard, crusty layer of salt. If you find one, break it up so that brine can flow properly during regeneration. Reason number two, faulty components. If there's a problem with the spacer stack assembly, downflow piston, or brine piston inside your softener's valve, brine water can leak into the mineral tank even when the system isn't regenerating. This salty water then ends up in your faucets, giving your softened water a noticeable salty taste. Here's how to fix it. First, make sure the softener is in service mode and that water is flowing through the system. Then, remove the brine elbow and drain elbow. Look directly into the valve's brine hole and drain hole for about 15 to 20 seconds. If you see any water movement in either hole, that's a sign of a bad spacer stack or faulty pistons. Since it's hard to tell which part is failing, the best move is to replace both pistons and the spacer stack. If there's no water movement, these components are probably working fine and aren't causing the salty water. Reason number three, improper salt setting and salt level. If your water softener's salt setting is too high, it might not allow enough time during the backwash or rinse cycles to flush out all the brine. This can leave excess salt in the resin tank, which ends up in your softened water. Inaccurate programming combined with high salt usage can also lead to unnecessary salt waste and taste issues. Here's how to fix it. The correct salt setting depends on two things, your incoming water hardness and the grain capacity of your softener. Make sure you've entered the right hardness value when programming your softener. If you're unsure how to do that, check out our softener programming video. Step 4 covers this in detail. Also, don't keep the brine tank constantly full of salt. Let the salt level drop below the water line now and then. This helps prevent salt bridging, which is a hard crust that blocks proper salt dissolution. Double check your backwash settings too. While exact numbers depend on your specific model and local water conditions, a good general guideline is 5 to 10 minutes of backwash time at a flow rate of 2.2 to 3.2 gallons per minute. Pro tip, when buying a new softener, consider a demand-initiated one like AquaSure or Springwell. These units calculate how much softening is needed and only use the salt required, reducing waste and preventing oversalting. One more thing. In rare cases, the salty taste may not be your softener's fault at all. Your incoming water supply could already have high sodium or chloride levels, even in groundwater. In such cases, using a reverse osmosis system is the most effective way to remove salt from your drinking water. And if you also have high chlorine levels, install a chlorine pre-filter first. Chlorine can damage your softener's resin over time. For another helpful video to solve your water issues, watch this next.